If an explosion occurs in space with no one around to see it, does it make a sound? According to most physicists, yes, it does. When these types of blasts occur, they emit the strongest type of radiation, gamma rays. Imagine standing on Endor and witnessing the Death Star explode. Now imagine it was billions, if not trillions of times larger, encompassing the entire sky until it is almost imaginably massive. Scientists have known that these types of explosions occur for some time now, but what is this new discovery that has been made that shocked scientists to their core? What happened? January 2019, scientists get an alarm that a massive explosion was just detected in a galaxy four and a half billion light years away from Earth near the Fornax constellation. Astronomers named this explosion GRB 190114C. The burst emitted massive amounts of gamma rays, which blasted out into space, breaking a record and becoming the brightest source of high energy light in all the cosmos. Thanks to modern technology, more than 300 scientists were able to be involved in recording and studying this rare event very shortly after it occurred. Gamma bursts of this kind typically arise after a supernova, as a new neutron star or black hole is formed. During this process, outflows of plasma traveling at velocities very close to the speed of light are ejected out of the poles of the newly formed object. These jets of plasma blast out into space with an incredible amount of energy. What are the blasts like? It can be hard to imagine how much power is generated in these types of explosions. In the few short seconds during which the explosion occurs, more energy is released than the sun will produce in its 10 billion year lifespan. But bursts themselves are not all that rare. They light up the sky fairly regularly, occurring an average of one time per day. Most of these gamma ray bursts happen extremely fast, with some only lasting for fractions of a second. Because they occur once a day, you might think it's odd that astronomers still struggle to observe and study these events. The main trouble with studying these explosions is that the actual blast is so short-lived. Scientists have so far been studying the afterglow of these bursts, which can last several minutes using super-powered telescopes while radio telescopes allow them to study the remnants for months because these telescopes' ability to detect more wavelengths of light. One thing that made this particular blast so special is that it was what scientists call long-lasting gamma ray bursts, and these long-lasting gamma ray bursts stay active for much longer, possibly close to a minute in duration. How fast was the response? Within 22 seconds of its detection, a notification that included its coordinates was sent to researchers in labs and observatories around the globe. Just 27 seconds after the message was sent, the first telescopes to answer, the twin Major Atmospheric Gamma Imaging Cherenkov, or MAGIC, were locked onto the blast. That means that within 50 seconds of the explosion, researchers were able to observe it which can only be accomplished with the benefits modern technology has given us. MAGIC was able to detect photons measurements 0.2 to 1 terelectron volts, which is equivalent to the energy released by the most powerful collisions within the Large Hadron Collider. This is the first time in history that scientists were able to detect radiation that was this high in energy. The protons carried roughly a trillion times more energy than the protons within the visible light range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why did it take so long? Throughout the universe, these blasts are not too rare, but they are still exceedingly hard to study given their short-lived life. Because of this, astronomers have been trying to observe an explosion of this size for years. But why did it take so long for astronomers to finally detect and observe one of these explosions as it was happening? For one, 
These explosions typically happen extremely far away from us, on the order of many millions of light years. This makes the events difficult to spot, but additionally, the beams of high-energy gamma rays must be pointed directly at the Earth in order to have a chance at quick detection. Many of these gamma ray explosions are only recorded long after the fact when the Hess and MAGIC telescopes on Earth detect the bizarre phenomena known as Cherenkov radiation, in which particles can move faster than light in certain mediums. Why was this so shocking? Once the large team of researchers were able to collect and study the data that came from their observations, they uncovered some surprising things. By studying the light reaching us from the recent explosion, scientists were able to calculate that the photons created during the explosion have been traveling through space for around 4 billion years, nearly a third of the universe's existence. This light has been traveling for nearly as long as the Earth has been a planet. But the age of the photons is not the only thing they learned about this blast. Because this was the first time an explosion like this was observed, scientists have relied on theories and models to predict what these blasts are like up until this point. When they actually got to look at the data, it turns out that the energy released in these types of explosions was much stronger than any model had previously predicted. They've measured that the photons detected from this explosion came in at the highest energy light that has ever been observed coming from a gamma ray burst. The photons clocked in with a trillion times more energy than the photons within the visible light range of the electromagnetic spectrum. What do astronomers hope comes from this? Being able to study this long-lasting gamma ray burst as it was occurring has been a major milestone in the field of high-energy physics and has allowed researchers to understand more about these incredibly powerful events. Not only did researchers learn that these blasts are much more powerful than they originally believed, they were also able to test their plans and ability to mobilize hundreds of researchers and instruments in an instant when something is detected. No one knows what else scientists may uncover in the coming months as they comb through more of the data from this groundbreaking discovery. Isn't it amazing how as new discoveries are made throughout the cosmos, the amount of information we still have to learn seems to grow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below and tell us about a space discovery that shocked you. See you next time on Matter.